technology is an enabler for um, the medical diagnostic and treatments that we have today, I wanted to be an enabler for the technology, but I also wanted to be on the other side and see the impact that it had on patients. So that's when I decided to do an MD and a PhD. My thought is that there's more information in the images than meets the human eye, the, the naked eye alone, and that we can find this information and make sense of it using artificial intelligence. In a lot of problems, there are there are hidden changes in the images that are invisible to the naked eye that a computer can find. And it's important for a computer to find these because sometimes they can indicate the imminence of disease. Sometimes it can help you predict disease years before we ever knew that we could. PhD was the hardest thing I'd ever done just because uh, there's so much uncertainty and you're trying to explore uncharted territory and you're trying to create a research um, contribution that nobody's ever explored before, nobody's ever done before. So you don't know if it's gonna work. You could be working on it for three months and it could lead to nowhere. And that can be demoralizing. And at the same time, you could be working on something and have a breakthrough and that could be really energizing. So it's just really just keep going no matter what the ups and downs are. My thought was that if you can diagnose it years before that bone damage and that pain develops, then maybe there's a chance that you can sort of halt the process or maybe even slow down the trajectory and that was the motivation for it. But <laughs>